in West Town, but I'm going to stick with the pocket neighborhood of East Village, which is on the west side of Ashland Avenue. Um, there's so many flavors here in terms of restaurants, a ton of Latin flavors. There's Italian, you can get Trattoria, Ultima. You can get pizza at Roots. There's a ton of great bars like Cleo's and High Dive. Um, there's also sushi with yuzu and also a rami. But right now we're gonna check out a Mexican restaurant that's been around for over 45 years. Wow. I'm with Carla with a K at Tecalitlan Mexican Restaurant. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Tecalitlan. Love it. Yes. Um, I cannot say it. After a few margaritas, it just kind of comes out naturally. <laughs> you guys have great margaritas. Yes, we're voted top nine margaritas in the city. 46 years for a family-owned restaurant. Absolutely, yeah. That is unbelievable. So your parents opened this restaurant? Correct. My dad opened it in 1973 when he was 21 years old. So second generation brother, sister are running the restaurant. Do you guys always get along? No. <laughs> <laughs> So how important is it for you to be able to carry on this tradition? It's important because, um, you know, uh, this is my family's blood, sweat, and tears. Very well known for our steak burritos, top 10 burritos in the city also. It's our fajitas are awesome. Everybody loves them. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. 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 Salud to right. myself. <laughs> Salud. Mm. Okay, now that we're really getting to know each other, <laughs> Carlos, do you run the place? Or does your sister run the play? I run it, but I let her think she does. So it'll be easier for me to run it and easier. <laughs> what he said. I'm in Forbidden Root. This is not your average brewery, okay? This is very special, and why is that? Well, we're a botanically inspired brewery. So we use herbs, roots, and spices in our beer and we use you know, some interesting process to get the beauty of the hops out. We start with a very basic premise. We are focused on the experience of the beer, not the style and put things in. So we have that core idea and then we're building out. So like a strawberry basil, and we wanted to use it in a half of icing because that was the right style for that beer. Or a sparkling rosé ale. And we use Niagara grapes because we wanted to use a native grape. And the chef wants the food to be as good as the beer. And so we sort of you know, passionately make some interesting, edgy food that's not pretentious. So a burger that's really good, or a schnitzel that has a beet mayo on it. And so we try to do foods that are familiar and to take it to the next level. We feel very much part of the community. This is an old movie theater that's been transformed. Uh, and it's very you know, farm to table. You know, you, when you walk in, you saw the, the cultivator wheels, the antique John Deere cultivator wheels. That's everything on your food, every, everything on your plate, everything on your glass came from somebody's work. And that's kind of the ethos that we work under. Okay, here's the famous schnitzel. Is this big enough for you? I want you to see this hat. It's made out of chinchilla fur. <gasps> so they go from $20 to 100 to several hundred, and then to this one here, which is 5,000. So it's not just cowboys, it's not just people that ride horses. No, no, it's also city people. City people. It's city people who are buying a hat. We're gonna be having our 47th uh, anniversary this year. So if you could sum up Alcala's in one sentence, what would it be? Um, if you want something truly American, we have it. I got a large head, large oh, cabeza. Right. Let's see, let's try. Yeah. Oh, that looks good? Yeah. Hmm. How does that look? Oh my goodness, well, that, does this mean I'm gonna buy it now? <laughs> this looks like a good boot. It looks good, huh? Pretty good. Okay, so tell me about the concept behind Beat Nick. So the concept behind Beatnik is it was inspired by the bohemian lifestyle and the aesthetic sensibility of the 1950s in Europe and America. Right now, in the dead of winter, you walk in and not only the chandeliers and the lush pillows and the colors, but there's plants. Oh yes. These are real. Live plants. Okay. It's so beautiful. Oh, you don't you. feel like it's winter when you come in. You feel like you're somewhere exotic and warm and kind of tropical. It's really important that, you know, when you go out that you feel like you're on 
an adventure. You're kind of taken to another place. What do you love about West Town? I love that there's a little bit of everything. You know, you can go to somewhere that's a little more relaxed and comfortable and it's been there for a while, but then there's also plenty of like trendy spots like Beatnik. Music is huge here, art is huge, but they're still, you know, standard, just wholesome places and, you know, your breakfast spots. And there's younger families and there's hipper, younger artists too, so. The food that we go by is, we call it New American. You know, we are taking recipes from Greece, uh, Italy, Spain, France, and then we twist it with South American influence, like Peru, Mexico, and even like Colombia as well with the arepas. Yeah, it's kind of like what I say, it's an international party of flavors.